If the patient is MRD positive, it does, it does not mean that this patient is incurable. So, but we have to modify our uh, therapy and especially to uh, direct uh, focus our therapy uh, on stem cell transplantation and on uh, immunological therapies. So MRD positive means just high likelihood of relapse, but not incurability. MRD uh, now is a crucial uh, measurement for, uh, for management of acute leukemias. This is a it's absolutely clear for acute lymphoblastic leukemia and it's going uh, clearer uh, for acute myeloid leukemia also. And I think it's a hot topic and the, this uh, uh, will uh, drive our therapy for these diseases. MRD uh, after, after therapy initial therapy, it's a crucial point. We have to assess uh, early uh, when the patient achieves complete remission. And if there is a good clearance of MRD at that time, the patient uh, could have a good prognosis. So because the, the probability of relapse is lower than if he has measurable uh, MRD. I am absolutely in favor of this. Uh, morphologic complete remission means uh, what I mean, so that you cannot see uh, uh, leukemic cells by light microscope, but there is uh, a high quantity of leukemia at that time. So MRD uh, quantifies uh, more precisely the, the level of leukemia after uh, remission. So I think that MRD will uh, should be the, the target point to assess uh, response uh, in uh, after therapy in ALL. The best time points for uh, MRD measurement and uh, take for taking decisions uh, after, uh, uh, according to MRD values are end of induction and end of consolidation. So these are the, the two crucial time points. Uh, after induction, uh, to uh, to direct the intensity of the consolidation and after consolidation to decide uh, if the patient has to be immediately transplanted or not.